wire-bodied brownstone fly nymph here. Thought I'd like to share it with you guys. I'm using for a hook a 1929 Select Series Daiichi in a size 6. The bead I have on is a 3.8 millimeter tungsten bead in copper. And I got eight wraps of 25 thousandths lead wire behind the bead to add a little extra weight. I've gone ahead and already tied in the, the tail. Um, and, the, and the tail material is larva lace, super floss, and brown. So on these flies, on a real stone fly, the, they're not a round insect. They're flatter by a considerable amount than they are round. So I like to tie my wire in one strand on one side and the other color strand on the other. Because I'm doing a two, a two color fly here. It's got a, a brown UTC wire in large and black UTC wire in large. So I'm going to start there. We're going to bring the thread finish, bring it up here, and we're going to put the we'll put one color on the inside. I'll put the brown on the inside. And I'll put the black on the outside. This helps give the fly a wider stance and appearance than if we tied it all on one side or on the top. Fasten that in good and then Pull them tight and bring them down the bring them down this the hook. Get it a little tall there. Let's back this up just a little. Never, never feel bad if you something about your fly you don't like. Back it up and redo it. It doesn't hurt anything. Okay, I'm going to tie the this side, the brown side, all the way down to the tail. We'll get that done first. Okay. Bring our thread back up to the black wire. Now, I'm not going to tie the black wire in down as far as the brown. And when I get to that point, I'll explain why and show you. Hopefully it'll make sense to you. Okay, bring our thread back up to the head, toward the bead. Yeah, I'll put a half hitch in it and then get your thread out of the way. Makes this job a lot easier. Okay, now, why did I do that? Tie the black end higher up the hook than the brown. Well, here's the reason. When you start this fly with two sections of wire starting it, you get a really big lump on the tail. So I like to do it, get a couple of wraps of one color and then start the other color around. They come together nicely and you don't get that big ugly tail lump. Okay, now that we got that, let's fasten the thread down, or the wire down with the thread.
Okay, normally I helicopter the wire off, but this stuff's pretty big and you're trying to helicopter them both off at the same time. It's a pain in the butt. We're going to be tying a shell back over this anyway, so those sharp pieces of wire aren't really going to hurt anything. Get your wire back down to the, your thread back down where the wire is. Now I'm using some thin skin in this orange bustard color. I really like it for the, the wing case. Kind of gives it a mottled appearance. You can use black or clear, whatever color you want. This is just the color I choose to use on it. Okay. You want to cut that so that the shell, the wing case material, so that's about as white as your as your bead. There we go. Now let's tie that in right down to where the wire stops. Okay. Now I'm using a brownstone dubbing mix, and we're gonna make a loop or two of that on here and then we're going to tie in another set of rubber legs on it. I like to keep my dubbing twisting as I'm putting it on so that it doesn't get a big loose pile on it. Now let's tie in another set of legs. This is going to be more of a an X style than the regular than a regular stone fly would be. We're going to so it'll be more like a Mad, an old Madam X style. Okay, now we got those in, it takes some more dubbing. You're going to kind of back up just a little bit onto the, onto the legs and help hold them back just a little. You don't want them back, pinned back, but you want them back just a little more. And up to the, to the front legs. front of them with the dubbing. Perfect. One more little dab of dubbing on here. Okay, now we're going to run that shell, that wing case material up and over. Make sure you're lined up square with your bead. Now pull those front legs back again. Well, we broke that, now we're going to have to deal with that. I wonder what that was all about. See if we can stretch that. Oh, we got it stretched enough to, to do her, I think. There, we got her. It worked anyways. We'll just put a little extra dubbing up there in the front to make up for that. An oops moment. It happens. This fly takes long enough to tie that I'm not going to back up and redo the video just for that. That's too much. There we go. Perfect. Now take your whip finish tool. You don't need to do a whole lot of whip finish on this because 
it's gonna um, gonna have UV cement over the the shell the wing case. Okay, let's get that thread out of here. Everything's where we want it. And make sure you get your fibers that are there off the top. Get those rolled down. Now I'm going to use um, Deer Creek dubbing. Or, um, not dubbing, sorry. Um, UV cement. It's nice and hard and it dries clear. I like to go right on up into the bead with it. You want it thicker than just a little dab on there. Don't do it all at once because this stuff, most UV glues won't dry in the middle. The lights aren't, most of the UV lights aren't powerful enough to to dry it at, to harden it. So we'll hit that with the UV light for a second. And there we go. Wire bodied brown stone with rubber legs. If you like this video, like, hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more like this, subscribe, and I try hard to get at least one pattern a week. So I hope you enjoy. Have a good day.